Hello, welcome to Valheim by the Numbers. Today we'll be looking at the new Fallen Valkyrie enemy in the Ashlands. So the Fallen Valkyrie seems to spawn alone anywhere over land in the Ashlands, and weighs in at a frightening 1500 health with no ability to stagger, giving it the same amount of health as a Yawl, a Seeker Soldier, or three Eichthyrs. Valkyrie is resisted to fire, immune to poison, but is weak to spirit damage. Valkyries also tend to go mostly invisible during heat storms. Unlike Motor, the Valkyrie never lands, but will often swoop down during two of its attacks, opening it up to melee damage. The first attack is called Spit, where the Valkyrie will fire three projectiles, dealing lingering AoE damage of 80 fire and 18 poison each. The second attack is called Quaz, and it's the main reason why you'll have a hard time running from this fight. The Quaz attack causes the Valkyrie to swoop down and chase you until it hits, dealing 105 slash and 55 pierce damage. The third attack is called Spin, and deals 80 blunt damage and 140 pierce damage in a rather large area. Technically the last attack is a Taunt, which does do extremely limited damage and has a non-zero range, but despite my best efforts, I have yet to actually get hit by it, so really the Valkyrie only has three real attacks. With that said, how do you survive it? You'll be most protected wearing a full set of carapace armor when first entering the Ashlands, However, the extra speed from either the Fast or the Fenris set may be helpful when dodging the Spit and Spin attacks, but you'll also be taking quite a bit more damage when your Magic Hamster Ball breaks. Once you've started to get the Ashlands level gear, your most protective set will be full heavy armor, but then I tend to prefer the medium armor with the heavy helmet as it doesn't slow me down. Of course, the Magic and Fast armors are always viable if they better fit your playstyle. But now that you don't get one shot by it, how do you kill it before it kills you? If you have a high bow skill, you'll want to use the Spine Snap and later on the Storm Fang for the most damage. I wouldn't generally recommend any of the blood weapons, but the Root Fang could be a somewhat viable option as it does have the chance to freeze the Valkyrie in place for a few seconds. Your highest damage arrow option is going to be the Silver and later on the Charred Arrows. However, the Frost Arrows will slow the Valkyrie down for about 1.7 seconds. This means that with a high bow skill, you can keep the Valkyrie rather slow, making it a very easy fight. The Frost Arrows with the Storm Fang are the easiest way to kill it in my opinion, but if you want to use melee, then your best Mistlands level options are the Mistwalker, Skull and Hottie, and the Krom. I'd recommend the Mistwalker as you can hold a shield, and the Frost damage will slow the Valkyrie a bit, but when it comes to the Ashlands level weapons, I tend to prefer the Scorching Slayer. However, the Thundering Nidhogg and the Storm Star are also great options, especially since you can hold a shield with them with the root variants also being quasi-viable. When you use magic, the frost and shotgun stabs seem to be the best option. I tend to prefer the shotgun staff later on due to its higher damage. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comments, and be sure to like and subscribe to help other people find this video. Thanks for watching, and best of luck in the Ashlands.